Can Salesforce do talent portals, client portals, anything like that? You bet it can. We're going to talk about Experience Cloud next. Hey there, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Salesforce for Recruiters. I'm your host, as always, Brad Owens, and I was just like you. I was a recruiter with well over a decade of experience using various pieces of technology that never really fit what I wish they could do for me and my business. And then I saw Salesforce, and I went, where has this been all my life? And since then, I've been dedicating my career to helping the industry understand what Salesforce can truly do for them. So on today's episode, I'm going to answer a question that I get a lot of the time when I'm talking to customers and potential customers uh, of Salesforce. And one of the biggest things we always have a conversation around is around portals. Now, there's a number of different things that go into this. There's where can I post my jobs? Can I have applicants manage their own profile? Can I interface with my clients? Can I get them to upload data? All of that is possible. And it's possible because of Experience Cloud inside of Salesforce. Let's start with defining what Experience Cloud is. Now, Experience Cloud is a platform inside of Salesforce that allows customers to build online websites, portals, experiences, mobile apps, all for their customers to be able to interact back and forth with Salesforce data. And it integrates seamlessly with what you already have inside of Salesforce. So you can start to imagine all the different use cases that you can then have for this piece of technology. Hosting your own job board, allowing applicants to apply, allowing applicants to manage their own data like uploading documents, allowing clients to interact back and forth with maybe some candidates you presented them or the specific job that they can even enter in their rec for you. All of these different experiences are made possible because of Salesforce Experience Cloud and that platform exists inside of the Salesforce environment. It's just there. And I want to show you how easy it is to use on today's episode. Let's take a look at how easy Experience Cloud is to use. We're gonna actually dig into the builder here so you can see what the environment looks like for you to just drag and drop your own experiences and portals and talent pages and everything else that you may want on a website for whether it's talent or client facing or just a website for your business. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make these things. So here we are inside of the actual builder inside of Salesforce. This is in my Salesforce environment. And I have the ability to take a number of different actions here. But what I want to call your attention to is how easy it is to manipulate things on these pages. So for instance, right here, we have a few different boxes that are set up. We've got a collection. We've got HTML that we just threw on this page. And we've got a button. If we don't like where this button is, we can take this button and just drag it above the HTML. If we want the HTML to occur on, uh, I don't know, the same side as these columns, we can just drag it over. So you can see how easy it is for me to just drag and drop elements on this page and move them around. Now, you have access to not only things like that, but you have your navigation up top that you can start messing with. You can start changing what's on your hero image here. You can change what you want to show from tiles to sidebars to, I mean, this is a fully featured website editor. That's what we're looking at. And now you think, well, how much can I really customize? Well, you can put HTML anywhere you want on the site. Or you can do things like adding custom CSS, or you can change the actual entire layout or colors or branding or throw your own logo in here. You can change the structure just by dragging and dropping the entire site. You can start setting up things like SEO and security practices, and you can run this thing through a content distribution network like a Cloudflare or something like that. I mean, the possibilities of this actual builder here for this experience cloud is just unbelievable what you can make happen with this. So now that we know how easy it is to use this thing, let's dig in to some actual use cases to show you how this will work for your particular business. The first question I always get about Experience Cloud and using websites built with Salesforce is, can I post my jobs to it? Can you post jobs using Salesforce tools to Experience Cloud? The answer is yes, and I want to show you how. So here we are inside of our ATS. We've got a DevOps engineer role that we're trying to fill. And we've collected some information on this, including a job description. And we have this button down here that we've selected as post externally. Now, what we're doing here is we're enabling you to post this job on an actual job board. So this is built with Experience Cloud. You can see I've set this up as a, a mocked kind of website here. So we have a job board listed on this website. 
And you can see we've got the ability to search for jobs. You can search based on any of those different fields that we showed you on the job. You can search by location, department, however many openings. Let's say you're trying to apply to something that's got 50 openings, and this is just an example. Um, and then you can search through all those different records. Now these records exist in your Salesforce environment. Because we're pulling all of our data in from Salesforce, we have all of our jobs listed over here that we've selected to post externally. So now all of these jobs are out here in a JSON feed that you can pull into different types of websites if you'd like to, or it's also in XML. So all of the web scrapers like Indeed and LinkedIn and all the others that are pulling jobs can aggregate those on their site and have people apply back on your website here. So how would we do that then? Well, we have the job right here that we can select. Let's see if we wanted our chief operating officer. Now we have that job here with the job description, all the data that it's pulling in from Salesforce, and the end all be all, the ability to apply. So now you can see, I can enter in my name if I need to, I can throw in any new fields that I'd like to as well, and I can upload files. So if you wanted to upload your resume for starters, or if you wanted people to upload their credentials or whatever it might be, you can do that here, and then they submit their application. And all of that comes back directly into Salesforce because we're interacting with our Salesforce data here. So the very first use case I wanted to show you here was being able to post your jobs and have people apply to those. Yes, this is all built with Experience Cloud. You can absolutely do that. How about using Experience Cloud for things like managing onboarding and document uploads and things for our talent? You absolutely can do that. And I've mocked up a version here that happens to be the Pacifica Talent Portal. This is just a fake company called Pacifica. And now I have the ability to maybe search some questions if I'd like to. I can see the status of my onboarding, which we'll get into in a second. I have maybe a feed of all the different jobs I've applied to. Uh, I can see up here what offers I may have had, what timesheets I may need to update, expenses I need to input. I have all sorts of different things that I can take care of here as talent that's employed by Pacifica or maybe I'm some temp resource that actually uses Pacifica as my agency. Uh, this is the ability to now manage all of my data. So as someone that works with Pacifica, I may want to manage my career development. So I could do something like go to the career development page here. And what I'll show you as on the site is I have the ability to work through an actual management certification pathway along with the, how much time I've actually got left to complete this. It'll show my progress. All of this will then drive back to my profile inside of Salesforce. You'll keep track of what I'm able to do. I might be able to see all of the different jobs that I'm working on. So if I then went to the job list page, which is something I've made here underneath the job object, you can go to the job list. Now this is giving me the ability to see all the jobs that I'm actually employed out on or have been employed on. And this is pulling the jobs directly from the assemble applicant tracking system inside of Salesforce. So now all of these jobs that I have been working are right here and I can dig into those if I need to. Let's say I needed to do something like uh, upload documents to this system. Well, I have a user, here, let's blow it up so you can see a little bit more. I have the ability right here to manage my profile. I can dig into my profile. Uh, I can uh, ask cases, I can upload files here if I wanted to, um, I can edit all of my details. So here is answering that huge question that I always get of can we have talent log in and manage their own information so that my recruiters don't have to keep up with it? Yes, absolutely. And this is how you can do that with a talent portal built on Experience Cloud inside Salesforce. I realize that Experience Cloud may sound new to you, but you're actually more familiar with it than you may think. Case in point, there are live websites out there from big companies that are using Experience Cloud. Case in point, here's DoorDash. DoorDash has their entire Dasher website built out using Experience Cloud. Now think about what these Dashers do. These Dashers are essentially employees of DoorDash now. So they need to log in, they need to manage things, they need to upload documents, they need to get their questions answered. That's what DoorDash has created here. So we have account support right here. We have background check FAQ. I mean, doesn't this already sound like a staffing use case? How do I set this up? How do I update my bank account information? All of that can be done here in Experience Cloud. So now this can integrate back and forth with other types of resources as well. So you see, I clicked a link and now all of a sudden I'm still in Dasher Central, but this is using something that's not only Salesforce resources, it's also using their own web portal as well. So you can integrate those two together.
So you can start to see that you're already familiar with Experience Cloud. Let's give you another example. Are you a Hulu subscriber? If so, the Hulu Help Center is built using Salesforce Experience Cloud as well. You'll notice that we still have the ability to get our questions answered here. We have uh, different help topics that we might need. And we also have the ability to log in and manage our details here. So you can see that there are already plenty of Experience Cloud websites out there in the wild that you just didn't know about already. But now that you know what's on the back end of these, you can start to see how powerful it can be for maybe someone in staffing and recruiting to build one of these experiences for their talent. Do you see what I mean? Do you see how powerful Experience Cloud can be inside of Salesforce? I think it solves a number of different issues that I see customers bringing to me as, man, I really wish that my platform could do this. Well, it can. Salesforce can do that for you, and it does it with Experience Cloud. Experience Cloud is not only easy to use, it's just a drag and drop interface builder, but it gives you the capabilities to do things like post jobs, to have talent interact with their data, to be able to upload documents, to have clients submit recs directly to you, and all that syncs seamlessly with your Salesforce data because it's showing Salesforce data. That's what it's manipulating there live on the site. So it gives you a tremendous amount of abilities to be able to take your business and how it interacts with its customers to that next level. And I think if you're not already using Experience Cloud, you should absolutely look at it because it can be a massive improvement for the experience of your talent, of your client. And that's why it's called Experience Cloud because you can up-level the experience of the people that interact with your business. So I hope that is helpful for you. If you like this kind of content, there's plenty more. If you visit salesforceforrecruiters.com, you'll find plenty of other content there. So I wanna thank you for getting this far into the video. And to thank you, I wanna answer your question. Send me an email to hello at bradowens.com and I will answer your question about Salesforce or about recruiting using Salesforce on a future episode. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.